My name is Nick Holloway from a company called Bactiview, and we are the UK resellers of the Bactiscan equipment, which is manufactured in the UK by a company called EIT International. Um, Bactiscan is a handheld bacteria and biofilm detection system using UV as a source. Currently, we use swabbing and in particular ATP swabs to locate bacteria and biofilms. This can be looking, this can be like looking for a, the proverbial needle in the haystack, as we only swab a small area to check for the eff efficacy of cleaning and sanitizing and to look for problems and biofilms. Uh, Bactiscan can easily uh, scan a whole area to check for problems. Um, and it can be fitted with a camera on the top to take photos and videos, and um, it will also date stamp for any due diligence uh, purposes. So introducing the Bactiscan, its unique wave alternating UV system uh, enables users to immediately isolate back biofilms and bacteria such as salmonella, listeria, E. coli and many other contaminants are easily located and identified with Bactiscan, which makes uh, the remediation job much faster and therefore more cost effective. The Bactiscan has been validated by Camden BRI and there is a 22 page report on our website, which is www.bactiview.com if anyone wants to read the detail. How does it work? By complete illumination of a surface. High intensity wave alternating UV light enables the operator to view large areas at one time. And a sep separate UV lights on different frequencies working on the fringe of the UV spectrum merge together. And this is the essence of the Bactiska. The protein shell of the bacteria emits a green glow when under the combined wavelength uh, beam, as you can see in the second slide, second picture rather. Um, and uh, major constituents of the shell are uh, proteins containing um, various domains and um, these proteins form uh, oligomers of uh, hexagonal in shape and are thought to form the facets of the shell. Basically, they reflect back a green uh, tinge, fluorescent uh, tinge. Um, we tend to uh, uh, clean and uh, sanitize and check uh, high touch areas that are cleaned and usually the high touch points. These are also the areas that we typically swab. Uh, and this is a classic uh, picture that really shows how a table has been extremely well cleaned on the top, but a small bit around the side has been missed and the back scan uh, has shown up contamination that has been missed and may cause serious issues later. Um, in the dairy here, this shows a yogurt filling line in the dairy with contamination around the filling head. Um, but the problem was the yogurt dripping down the side of the head and onto the underside of the hopper, shown in the second slide, and then onto the filling head. This just shows a water tap. Uh, that's what it looks like without the battery scan on the left and on the right. You can see um, whilst the blue handle has been nicely cleaned, um, some debris, uh, some uh, bacteria are growing on the, uh, on the metal uh, end of the handle. Uh, this is a shot from a hospital operating theatre in Canada. Uh, uh, there was uh, a bin underneath the, the blue spot in the first picture. Uh, and this is where the swabs were thrown yeah, in off the wall and into the bin. Uh, but those are the bits that got missed and splashed up the wall and one thing or another. And then on, on the right, there is a picture of the air conditioning system where there's uh, bacteria uh, uh, growing. In the uh, in the exit area, and will probably get blown around the 
um, room. Um, healthcare laboratory microscope. <laughs> Looks fabulous on the first picture. Second picture, my God, <laughs> there's a lot of contamination there. Um, but you've got to think, you know, how often those get cleaned and how detailed is the cleaning? Um, and then finally, this is a, um, showing before and after illumination with the, with the filling head in the first two pictures with and without battery scan. And then this is a filling line where um, the foil lid has been punched out. And again, you can see the rollers um, contaminating, uh, contaminated and obviously contaminating the film as well. Um, and you can see here how it's been cleaned. So on the left, that's what you see. In the middle, you can see um, on the left-hand side of it, a, a clean patch and then a, a, a patch with contamination shown up by the Bacti scan. And then you can actually see the, the cleaning line, which is as far as the hand has gone into the machine to, to, to clean uh, and sterilize. And that's it, basically. Um, the um, information will be, uh, and a brochure will be sent out in the notes following today's meeting, so to give you a bit more of a information, and if you want any follow-up, uh, the contact details are on there. Okay, thank you.